Welcome back to the Armstead Family YouTube channel. We are going to be talking about the 15 things that we stopped buying as we became minimalists. And we just want to throw it out there that this is just a list that we don't buy or own anymore. But if you buy any of these things, we're not shaming you. There's probably things that we buy that you don't buy. These are just things that we personally don't need anymore. So don't worry if you have some of these things. And before we jump in, let us know in the comments if you stop buying some of these things as well. And let us know if there are other things that we should add to our own list. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel below and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our videos. All right, let's get into the 15 things that we no longer buy. Number one, we stopped buying souvenirs. So I want to say that we both in our relationship bought souvenirs. Like I remember you went to Ohio and you brought me back like so many souvenirs, remember? But anyways, that was when we were dating. But now even when we've taken vacations or like we went on a cruise and we went to different countries, like I wanted a souvenir to, you know, remember our trip. So I used to get a souvenir pretty much everywhere we went, but then I felt like it just became clutter. I also used to, and this will put us into point number two, is that I tried to get a mug wherever we went. So that was kind of like a souvenir as well. Or like if a family member or friend was traveling to a country that I knew I was never going to go to, I would ask them to bring me a mug from there. Like I have a mug currently from Thailand. It's the only souvenir I held on to. Um, but so that's actually number two, mugs. I used to buy mugs every time I went to Target. If there was a cute saying on it, especially when I became a mom, any mom quote, like I had one that said, mom hair don't care, mom life, mom fuel. I have zero of those mugs now. Point number three, accessories. We stopped buying accessories to match every single outfit. For me, I stopped buying multiple belts. I have one belt for all of my clothes or one belt for dress clothes and one belt for normal clothing. I don't have a bunch of different colors to match a bunch of different accessories. So as we started going down this journey, we realized, hey, we only really need one or two of each type of accessory and we don't want to buy multiple ones. For instance, I used to buy her purses for gifts, different style purses, different purses for different events. And we realized that we really only need for her one purse. And she picked the one that she loved the most, the one that she couldn't do without. And that brings me to point number four. We used to both collect watches. I used to have four or five different watches and I usually only picked one or two of them every single time. And the other ones would just sit there and I actually used to feel guilty looking at some of those watches like, man, I should use that or I should buy an outfit that goes with that watch. And so that really helped me stop my spending to uh, unnecessary spending for things that I thought I really needed to match certain accessories. Mm -hmm. When we went down the path of saying, hey, maybe we should get rid of watches or maybe we should stop buying so many accessories, those two went together. I actually at one time had almost 20 watches and then I had the watch where you could just change the band and have like all different colors, which you had too. So technically you had like more watches. I just had so many watches and I think I'm down to two in my Fitbit. So I have one gold watch, one silver watch, and then my Fitbit. I only so, have my Fitbit. That's the only watch that I have now. Yeah. Actually I have no, you, my- No, your, your work watch. And I don't even, I don't use it. So thank you, YouTube family, for telling me that I don't need the other watch. I'm probably gonna well, get rid of it. Well, you, uh, this is fairly new. Like we both got Fitbits in the last couple months. So have you been to work yet since you got that Fitbit? Yeah, I actually, we, I actually got this Fitbit before everything happened. So I have not worn my other watch since I got this watch. Yeah, that's true. I don't even grab for my watches anymore. Like I just grab my Fitbit. So number five, I no longer buy magazines. For some reason, when I was in the checkout line at a grocery store or something, and I saw a magazine that had like cool cover, I would buy it or if there was like some recipes or like some diet like I would buy a magazine or like if I would see like Joanna Gaines on a magazine like I would want it I stopped that a while ago buying magazines there was also times where I'd like go to my mom's house she had a magazine and I'd bring it home with me so no longer we don't have a single magazine in this house okay so number six throw pillows I used to love having throw pillows. I felt like it made the place kind of cozy. <laughs> you said throw pillows, right? No. These are still throw pillows. No, those came with the couch. <laughs> throw pillows like decorative, kind of like the ones we have in our room, 
Um, we ha- we've had those for I'm a long sorry. time. I'm sorry. That's bad. <laughs> he caught me off guard, but I'm gonna. She said throw pillows, and I still oh, <laughs> I still throw all the pillows. But yes. I was looking for something to throw, like hurt you with. We got rid of throw. <laughs> I bet like when they look at this, like, that really caught her off guard. That was the whole point. Okay, so throw pillows. I used to buy so many. Um, the last time I purchased them was for our room, like I don't know when we moved into the townhouse, like three years ago. But I feel like they're clutter. Like even these pillows, we have three pillows that came with the couch. And we lay on the couch a lot, so we can't like just have nothing. But even these annoy me because they end up on the floor, the kids play with them. And it's just another thing to have to take care of. Which brings me into the next one, throw blankets. You know, I felt like you can never have enough blankets in your home. I'm like, are you about to hit me with a blanket? I remember seeing this meme that said like, I'll never not want to be gifted a throw blanket. Well, I'm here to tell you, please don't give me a throw blanket, okay? Because I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We stopped buying throw blankets whenever we had kids because they get them so dirty. You yeah. want to buy a really nice throw blanket and you're trying to keep it clean and then your kids come and they eat their food and they throw up on it and they, you know, whatever they do. Goldfish crumbs. Yeah. Gosh. So now you just pull out your favorite blanket from the, the room before yeah. you want to lay on the couch. Well, I, I take the blanket that we sleep with and I lay on the couch with it. We have one throw blanket. It's not even really a throw blanket. My mom made something and she had like extra fabric. And my son, when he was at her house, he like loved it. So that's the only thing that we have um, other than what the kids sleep with, which is their blankets. So, okay, so number eight, seasonal decor. And the reason I have to say this one, <laughs> sorry, I've said like the last few, but it's because I was the only one who was buying seasonal decor from the dollar spot at Target. Like fall, they had like little pumpkins and little signs. Do you remember that? It was like fall in love. I don't even know. Um, and then like little pumpkin things and I would like put them on the table and I promise you, I would get rid of them November 1st. I would be like, bye. Like I would literally toss it. Like such a waste of money. Took up a lot of room in our house. Yeah, like why? We don't even have Christmas lights or we have no seasonal decor like at all zero. Um, I borrowed a Christmas tree from my mom last year because my mom had two. She had like an outdoor one and an indoor one and I borrowed her outdoor one and used it indoors. So, hey, you can always borrow from people. The next one is coasters. Next. I'm just kidding. Coasters, who, why do we have coasters? I get it, you don't want something to get wet, but. Like wood. But... Yeah, you don't want to get it, you don't want it to get wet, but we just. If we drink something and we put it on the table and it has that condensation, we just wipe it off. I realized whenever we moved into our apartment when we got married, we had coasters and I never used them. And she would be like, why are you not using the coasters? And I was like, why do we even have coasters? Why? So we, yeah, and we had glass, <laughs> we had a glass table. Like, you, don't, you really don't need coasters on glass tables. This is our personal preference. So if you like love your coasters and you think that it protects your table, keep like, the coasters. we get it. Yeah, keep them. But we were a family of two back then, and we had- Like six coasters. No, the packs came with five each. So we had 10 coasters for two people, okay. and they were like pricey. Mm -hmm. They were leather, they were, oh, I registered for those in our wedding registry. I use them as weapons, throw at people. Like. We got rid of those. As soon as I started decluttering, I was like, bye to these coasters. Number 10, shoes just because. So are you the type of person that has a full closet full of shoes that you just don't want to get rid of because you may need them? That's who we were. We had a bunch of shoes. Yeah. And then we ended up seeing like, we only use one or two of them. Yeah. The ones that are most comfortable and the ones that kind of match everything that we have. So mm -hmm. I had so many shoes. I had so many shoes that I didn't wear for years and they were getting to the point where they're like completely hard. Like you could, like probably break them if you put them in half. I don't know. Like they were so old and we, yeah. we just saw that we don't need all these shoes. So we picked the ones that would go with most Pretty of our outfits. Right and whenever we got to the point where like, Hey, we need new shoes. We buy shoes that go with everything. Plain. Yeah. Go. Because I used to buy sneakers. Like I used to work at a gym. So I used to just always be in sneakers and I wanted like workout sneakers with all these different colors on them and everything. Like I remember like a couple years ago, my sneakers were pink. Um, luckily my uniform was all black, but still like when I would actually be working out, I had to like make sure my sneakers matched. But I want to say like a year ago when I finally needed new sneakers, like actually needed them, I was like on a hunt for just all black sneakers and I got them, but I'm like, you know what? They match with everything and they look clean all the time. 
So there we go. We're not the type of people that collect shoes, so we don't you know, really want a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. I know some people really love collecting shoes, and so for you, maybe shoes is one of the things that you choose to keep. We like to buy shoes that, again, match with everything, and I don't feel like people are always looking at my shoes. And if you are looking at my shoes, I'm sorry if they're not meeting your expectations, but I like the shoes yeah. that I got and I'm cool with it. Number 11, clothes, just because. So obviously we need clothes, obviously we wear clothes, but we no longer buy clothes just to buy clothes. We also no longer buy clothes just for special occasions that we're gonna wear once or twice. Like I've actually borrowed things for special occasions because I don't wanna buy it. Like I borrowed my baby shower dress from a friend who was a few months ahead of me who had just worn it to her baby shower. Why do you say that? They're gonna ask for the dress back. <laughs> we already gave it back. Okay, so I already gave it back to her. But, so it's like, I don't know. I'm not embarrassed to like ask someone, hey, can I borrow this thing? Like if I'm close enough, get their family member or friend, like why not? And if I have something that they'd like to borrow, which I probably don't, but anyways, <laughs> they can feel free to borrow anything from me. Like I wouldn't mind letting someone borrow something of mine. But we no longer shop just because, like I shared in one of the previous videos, I think on Minimalist Home Tour 2, that I used to shop for fun on weekends, like retail therapy was my thing. Like it felt good to bring something new in, but that no longer fulfills me. It actually stresses me out because we're on a mission. We're saving for a home. And I just feel like all these clothes, they add up. So And when we, we no move, I don't want to be pulling a ton of boxes. I know. You understand? So <laughs> I understand. We've moved quite a few times, not us necessarily, but we've helped people move. And I remember just pulling boxes and boxes and boxes of clothes. And when we moved into our first apartment, we had, I had so many no, clothes. We, oh, we were like, okay, you guys, we, when we first got married, we were organized hoarders because <laughs> we had so much stuff. Like our apartment was 800 and something square feet. Like it was pretty we small. had a big closet. Yeah, but okay we had two closets right because it was like a one bedroom and like a little office space the master closet was a walk-in and only my clothes fit in there and then his clothes were in the office it had like a really small closet and you want to know how many times that closet rail collapsed because of how many clothes he had do you remember this yeah. we just had so much stuff you know and even when we moved out of there i remember who was it who helped us move out like i feel like it was my brother but i remember my brother saying like Y'all got too much, he used a curse word, but he's like, you know, S, the S word, but he was like, y'all got too much stuff. Like, even though I wasn't practicing minimalism, I like was kind of embarrassed. I'm like, dang, I do have a lot of stuff. So like, I never want to go through that again. And I don't want to like carry a bunch of stuff with us everywhere we go. Like we have our essentials and that's really all we need. Number 12, dryer sheets. I no longer use dryer sheets. I no longer buy them. We don't have them at all. A lot of people ask me like, oh, how do you not use them? Do you use wool balls? I don't use anything. I actually even read the manual for this particular dryer and I don't get a lot of static and I don't know, maybe there's some crazy reason why everyone it like swears by them, but I have never noticed a difference with or without them. So I don't use them. I've even heard that they're like kind of toxic when I've been like trying to be on this non-toxic journey. So I just cut them out and I don't miss them. Okay, so number 13, bottles of water. I cannot stress it enough how much we used to buy bottles of water. Um, we would go through at least two packs of water a week. Um, like the 40 packs, packs. Costco packs. Don't ask me why, we drink a lot of water in this house. And if it was something like I was cooking, if it was something I was like boiling, I would use the tap water, whatever. But if it was like something where I'm just adding a little bit of water to a recipe or whatever, I would not use tap water. So we went through so many bottles of water, but we don't anymore because we have Berkey right here. Berkey for the win. That was the best purchase ever. I remember telling my husband like, I really want this Berkey water filter. And he was just like, no, <laughs> because obviously like it's an investment. And our last water filter was like the little Brita or something like it was not good. We didn't even use it more than like a couple months. Um, so he was like, no, it's going to be a waste, whatever. It's probably the best thing that we own, like literally best. And I actually loved it so much that I reached out to the company and I said, Hey, a lot of people have been asking me about my water filter. Do you have some kind of code I can share with people? And then I kind of got involved that way with Berkey. So now I have my own affiliate link and I have a code for all of my followers to get a discount. 
and I really truly believe in it, so I wouldn't share it if I didn't. I'll put that in the description. You'll put that in the description <laughs> so that they can look at what we're talking about. Never had to buy bottles of water again. So much easier. We have quite a walk to our house, so it was annoying to bring water bottles in. We're saving money, and yeah, mm -hmm. we don't have to. All that plastic, we don't have to have it. Number 14, shaving cream. Random, I know, but I used to buy shaving cream, but then I realized I could use soap and I could use conditioner. I could pretty much use anything. And our bottles of shaving cream would last so long because I'd always like forget to just grab it out of the cabinet. So I used up the last of the shaving cream like a while ago and I didn't rebuy it and I haven't missed it. And I haven't even really thought about it till I made this list, so. And your legs are silky smooth. Thank you. Ooh la la. Hence you're pregnant, right? Conditioner. Uh, <laughs> Point number 15, the last one. It is coffee tables and side tables. The one reason why we don't want these anymore is because they take so much room in our living room and also on the side. So we like open space and we like to hold our coffee. And really the only reason why we had coffee tables in our old place was because I like to put my feet up. So Carlene <laughs> did not like that and she thought it was disgusting. And we realized one time uh, we did get rid of the coffee table. Why are you lying? I didn't think it was disgusting. It was also our dining table because we didn't have a dining table and he was putting his nasty feet on it. Yeah, well now we got a dining table and we don't need a coffee table to eat or put our coffee down. So or we- or our feet, or my feet. So we no longer have them. Wait, you forgot a very important reason why we don't have those things also. Okay. We have wild children. Oh, our if kids would have been impaled by one of the coffee tables. Yes. Right when we go to my grandma's house, she has like a glass table. My son likes to go under it. Obviously we stop him and don't let him. But if I had to stop my kids from running into a coffee table or going underneath it or breaking a glass, I think that would be like my entire day spent just frustrated. So I just eliminated it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those 15 things that we no longer buy or own. Like I said, this was just like a simple list that we came up with, but if there's something on the list that you personally own or buy, that's okay. Like I said, there's probably something that we buy still that you don't. So don't forget, let us know if there's anything on the list that you personally also stopped buying on this journey, or if there's something that maybe we don't realize that we can stop buying that maybe you stopped. So let us know in the comments because we're always looking for things to simplify. All right, we hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit that subscribe button below, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!